Would you like to print to your Ender 3 with just your phone? I'll show you how to do it on today's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. This is the Astrobox Gateway Kit. For $99 you can connect your 3D printer to the Astroprint Cloud. And it's based on Octoprint if you're familiar with that. Well now they've come out with the Astrobox Touch. So it adds touch capability in addition to cloud capability. Several months ago they gave me one to play with and give them some feedback and I really like it. Let me show you some of its features. You physically connect it to your 3D printer with a USB cable. Then through the easy setup, you connect it to your internet, and now you have touch control of your 3D printer. You can move the bed around, you can home it, you can preheat it. The touch screen's a little bit soft. You have to press a little bit harder than you would on your phone, but I found it worked pretty well after a while. And there's apps on it, like a phone, where you can go to Thingiverse or My Mini Factory, download a file, it'll slice it and print it right here from the box. And you've got full control of how the thing works including like your camera. You can set up the resolution, if it's rotated or not. It's very, very handy. But the biggest thing is you can print right from the cloud. The cloud are all the files that are in the AstroPrint cloud, which I'll talk more about in a minute. During the making of this video, Toybox Labs showed up on Shark Tank. They had a 3D printer you could control from a phone to print toys for kids, and they were asking for a $150,000 investment. Kevin O'Leary gave him the money, and I thought this was very interesting. Because if you go back in history, you'll see that Mattel, the big toy maker, had the thing maker. They delayed it a couple times and finally canceled the whole plan. And then there was new matter with the Mod T. This was a $299 printer, sliced in the cloud. They went out of business. So all that history makes me question, is this a good idea or a bad idea? But after using it, what I love is you can connect it to any Marlin-based printer. And it was taken out of the box, connected to my internet, and all I needed to do was connect the USB cable, and this thing started to work. And adding a camera to this thing was easy. I went with the recommended Logitech C920 USB camera. I plugged it into a USB port, it recognized it, and it started working right away. The only thing I need to do is find a better way to mount it than putting it on the box. It starts at cloud.astroprint.com. And you can actually use this right now for free. You don't even need AstroBox. And you can set up your printer. And they've got various printers already in the system. And then you can select your slicing engine. There's Slick 3 RPE, there's Cura 15, and now Cura 3. And you can make multiple filament profiles. You just come in here, tell it what size, diameter, and then what temperatures you want it to be. And that's the hardest part. Because from then you can use the app, such as the Thingiverse app or My Mini Factory app, and go search for whatever it is you want to print. And once you find it, you can download it or add it to your files in the cloud, or you can just print it. And you can do this from your phone, from your iPad, or from the desktop, anywhere you can get to the cloud. And it's going to use those settings that you made for the printer, for the material. You can do some minor settings. You can go into advanced settings. But for the most part, you can just click print. It's going to tell you how long it'll take, how much plastic, and then you can add it to the queue to print later, or you can click Print Now. And if you have an AstroBox or AstroBox Touch, it'll find your printer, there's my chat box, and you can click Print. And then it'll send the slice file, the G-code file, to the box. It'll store it on its own memory, and from there, you can monitor it. If you click on Monitor, it'll tell you the temperatures of the bed, the extruder, and you can also turn on the camera if you've got that equipped. And here it is. And another thing I like is once it's warmed up, I can watch it print and I can right click on it and make it picture in picture. And now it's just a loose picture I can put anywhere I want on my screen. So I can go work on a Tinkercad design and just move the picture where it's out of the way here, but I can keep an eye on how it's printing if it's gonna fail. So I can do two things at once, get my next design ready before the other one is finished. If you like this idea of printing toys from your phone, there is the Toymaker app. This is a little bit older, hasn't been updated in a while, but they do have some toys in here. Some you can pay for and some that are free. So here's an AstroPrint calibration rocket. I click on that on my phone and then I can send it right to the cloud. And once it's in the cloud, it's treated the same way as a Thingiverse file. And what was interesting is I can actually resize it right here. I can scale it down to 50%, resize it, and then all the other settings, including advanced settings I can get to. But I can just click print, it'll tell me how long to print. 
and then send it to the printer the same way I did from my computer. And I can monitor it right here on my phone as well just by clicking monitor and turning on the camera. I can see the temperatures, they'll rise, and the camera will start showing it printing. So it's very, very handy, just like they showed on Shark Tank. And if you want to do custom design, well, Tinkercad works in the cloud as well, and now works really well on the iPad. And they have this scribble tool, which I showed in a previous video, allows you to write something or draw something and turn it into a 3D print. And so here's my CHEP, Chuck Hullabuck's Electronic Products logo, and I really wish I could just export it and send it right to my Astrobox Touch, but that capability isn't there yet. Although I have gotten Tinkercad and Astroprint to start talking, so maybe we'll see this in the future. So right now what I do is I send it to Thingiverse, and it goes right to my Thingiverse account, automatically uploads it, and here it is. Now in order to see it on the iPhone or in the cloud of Astroprint, I actually have to release it. So that's the one drawback. I have to publish it, and then it shows up here in the Astroprint cloud right here on my phone. From there I can print it from my phone, from the iPad, from the computer in the cloud, or if I want to wait and print it later, it's in the cloud. So I can just go to the Astrobox Touch and download it and print it right there just by touching the touch screen. So this is very, very handy. And when it's done, it actually gives me a print again button. So if I want to print multiple version, pull the print off, hit print again. I don't have to go through all those steps. And while it's printing, I can monitor it from wherever I'm at on my phone. As long as I got connection to the internet, I can check on it. So here's my chip. It's finished. It's ready to go. After using it for a while, I would not say it's absolutely perfect. They're still working through some bugs with the apps and stuff. But overall, it's worked really well for me. And it's really handy to sit in my chair in the living room, search Thingiverse, find something I like, and click print. And the biggest advantage I think they have over all these other solutions, including the one on Shark Tank, is the fact it'll connect to any printer. I don't have to buy a small little toy box printer or I don't have to buy a Mod T printer, neither of which had a heated bed and neither one of them really print that good. So this is a nice solution. I can use any printer I want and still get that capability. Now as far as the $150,000 investment, that was only for 12%. So that puts this company at like 1.2 million or so. I really don't see that. So if I'm one of those sharks sitting in that row of chairs, I'm out. I ain't got any money anyway. So if you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of these videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon's one way or just buy through the affiliate links. It all helps. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo down there. It's free. Subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.